I did chanting in my mind during meditation. I also one point, oh, also look at the floor one point sometimes. Uh, then fall asleep, then wake up, focus on the floor again, again. Suddenly, very big sound shake me up. Chanting disappear, eyes look at the floor. Don't really know what is that sound coming from. Am I clear? Now clear. Writing the note time, not clear. <laughs> so one of, our, uh, one of Zen Master Sung Sung's students was really into sitting meditation. He didn't really like a chanting or bowing, but Sung 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 he made us do all of them every, every day. So um, he went off with Sung Sung Sung's permission to do a 100-day solo retreat. And he planned it uh, for the winter. Uh, he borrowed somebody's cabin way up north in the United States, and it was far away from everybody. And he took enough rice and some other things for 100 days, and he had lots of wood that he had cut, and more he would cut to make the cabin warm and to uh, cook food. So he was all set 100 days by himself. Then he kept some strong schedule every day bowing and some chanting and lots of sitting and just eating simple food two times a day. Then he did it, did it, did it, did it, same thing every day. Just do it, just do it, just do it. He said that one, one time after a little more than two months, he was sitting at night and he couldn't stay awake. He kept falling asleep and he was really frustrated. And anything he tried, he'd fall asleep. He'd take a break and throw cold water on his face and do walking meditation quickly, come back and sit, and again fall asleep. Then he, uh, finally, he's so frustrated that he took off all his clothes, went outside, and rolled around in the snow in the wintertime. Then he came in, dried off, sat, and soon again fell asleep. <laughs> then suddenly, he heard footsteps on the porch. He's way out in the woods alone, hadn't seen anybody in two months. Suddenly he heard footsteps. And he said immediately he was totally awake. He just had this big question, what is that? <laughs> so sometimes it's like that, yeah. So maybe you try many things, you know, you're trying chanting and you fall asleep or you're looking at the floor and too much strong concentrating and your eyes hurt and you fall asleep anyway. <laughs> and then sometime, maybe somebody on the other side of the room, achoo, and then. <laughs> so try mind, very important. If your direction's correct, want to understand my true self so I can really help this world and try, 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 sometimes this world, something will appear, help you, okay? So don't check so much, just try. Then every experience you have will become your wisdom. Trying to stay awake but falling asleep. Having some fantasy, then realizing you're really just here on retreat. Any kind of experience. Uh, you know, Sun San Sanin did this very strong retreat, got a great enlightenment. Later, the Korean War started. He had to join the army. In Korea, all young men for many, long time now, not just recently, have to go in the army, even if you're a Catholic priest, even if you're a monk. So what happens is if they become a monk before they do their army service, then when it's time to do army service, they, it's called rest your precepts. They do a ceremony with the teacher's permission, put the kasa on the altar, bow to Buddha three times and make your vow. You know, I must do my uh, country service now. And it's law, you go to jail if you don't do it. So all men go into the military two years before three years. So Sung San Sanyu also went into the military during the war. Then after the military time is finished, he got out. Then he said that time he cut his hair, went to see Kobong Sanyu. 
everybody's very surprised. That time, Korea is destroyed. So the temples also have almost nothing. He's a very strong young man, already got to enlightenment. In a short time, he went up and up, became a captain. People said he could easily become a general, get a good wife, make a good career. But he right away cut his hair, went back to being a monk. So he went and he found this teacher, Kobangsin, and then he bowed three times. Then he said, Kobangsin looked him in the eyes and said, you still have army eyes. Then sent him off for another 100-day retreat. During this retreat, he did many, many chanting. And of course, his mind was so clear, it was very powerful. So he got lots and lots of energy. Then in Korea, you know, upstairs we sit on some mat. Usually in Korea, the mats are a little longer and two of them. And so at night, you just put them end to end, lay down and go to sleep right there. So that's what he would do. He chant in this room and then nighttime just lay down on the mat, go to sleep. Then he said this one night, he woke up and he sat up on the mat and his head was right near the ceiling. Then he was very surprised. So he looked down and he saw that the mat was floating off the ground and he was sitting on it and it was floating around the room. He had this much like special energy. Then he said that time he looked at the mat and he said, very interesting, but not correct. Then this mat came back down. <laughs> So any kind of experience, no problem. Don't attach, don't make special. Soon return to this moment, correct. Then good feeling, bad feeling, good experience, bad experience, everything you can digest, it will become your wisdom, okay? Then you understand other people. But if you make something special and attach to it, that special will kill you. <laughs>